D&D books get sold early, a new Critical Role game, and a tabletop RPG legend sadly passes away. Welcome to Tabletop News Tuesday, our first news rundown of the week. Today we're talking about a new Wizards of the Coast sales policy, the new Critical Role card game, and Jim Ward's passing. Remember, if you like these kinds of videos, be sure to like and subscribe so we can keep making them. Now, on to the news. Oh, why don't you two just come with me? Come on. The Critical Role card game comes out this week. UVS is set to launch its pair of Critical Role Challenger series decks, a pair of pre-constructed decks for its Universus card game, which feature members of the Vox Machina and the Mighty Nine. The decks are built around Vax and Vex, and Jester and Not the Brave, respectively with all the new cards featuring original artwork. The Universus system is a bit like a commander game of magic, where the deck is built around a single character that uses attacks and other abilities to take out their opponent. The Challenger series offers two characters to choose from, so players can have different experiences based on what characters they choose. Now, Critical Role is going to air a special where we will see Liam and Matt battle each other using these decks on Friday, so if you want to know more about the game, be sure to check out that live stream. Check this out. Wizards of the Coast is allowing hobby stores to sell D&D books two weeks early. Wizards has announced that they are launching Local Game Store Early Access, an early sales program for D&D books that allow local game stores to sell books two weeks before their official launch date. This means that game stores will have the chance to sell their D&D books before either mass retailers like Amazon, and even before D&D Beyond, which has previously toyed around with early access on certain products. Given that there's a big debate as to whether D&D's business model is shifting away from physical products, this move will likely stem at least some grumbling from game store owners that they're being forced to compete with Wizards and Amazon to sell D&D books, and also that Wizards isn't even promoting D&D books anymore. It's about damn time. Early RPG luminary Jim Ward has passed away. Ward was the creator of Metamorphosis Alpha and wrote numerous early D&D rulebooks like Gods, Demigods, and Heroes with Robert J. Kuntz, Greyhawk Adventures, and Gamma World, which isn't a D&D rulebook, but is also another very popular, influential early tabletop RPG along with Gary Jaquette. Ward was also a player in Gary Gygax's original D&D game, and the wizard Drawmage, which is just Jim Ward spelled backwards, was named after him. Ward even designed the original Dragon Ball Z trading card game, which was launched in 2000. More recently, Ward helped design Giant Lands, which was published by Wonderfield. Our uh, thoughts and condolences go out to Jim Ward's family. Zweihander Reforged has launched a new Kickstarter to fund the publication of a new edition of the Grimdark Low Fantasy game. The Kickstarter for the game, which was originally built around the original Warhammer Fantasy tabletop RPG rule set, has raised over $120,000 to date. Players build characters with an ancestry and a profession, and survive a brush with death that leaves them with a scar. After that encounter, the player gets caught up in the deadly and dangerous world of the game, with combat being incredibly dangerous and wounds leading to the possibility of deadly injuries, and the game all functions around a D100 system. Now you can check out the Kickstarter, which runs through mid-April. Take a closer look. In other dungeon crawling board game news, Brotherwise Games has launched the Kickstarter for Super Boss Monster, a new super-powered version of their popular Boss Monster series. In addition to drafting rooms and spells to create the ultimate dungeon to lure helpless adventurers into and off them, Super Boss Monster also adds a worker placement mechanic via a new town board that adds landmarks the players can send minions to for various perks. This game is both a standalone game and backwards compatible with other Boss Monster products, so if you like video game dungeon crawls but want to be the Boss Monster instead of the adventurer, give Super Boss Monster a try today. Like a boss! And finally, speaking of video games, we wanted to give a shout out to Unicorn Overlord, the new tactical RPG video game available on the Switch, Xbox, and PS4, PS5. The game is a spiritual sequel to Tactics Ogre and features players building units made up of different characters and classes and then sending them into real-time missions on a variety of different maps. It's like a mashup of Fire Emblem and 13 Sentinels and takes place entirely in a classic fantasy world. 
Honestly, this game has become one of my favorites in just a few short weeks, and I can definitely see myself wasting a ton of time into this new game, which bodes poorly for this YouTube channel. Well, that's all the news that we have for today. Let us know what your favorite news story was, and hey, if you're going to GaryCon, be sure to track me down and say hi, because I'll be there starting on Thursday.